I was still hunting a river bottom and jumped a rabbit. But then I happened to glance up and see a squirrel at about 15 yards gnawing on a nut, so I hurried up and changed arrows out for one of my flu flus. Dang, shot right over his head by like a half an inch. Second try, don't miss, Gomer. You guys don't tell anybody I missed. The luckiest squirrel alive. Two flu flus right over the old beaner. I'm going for a headshot. that high both times crazy let this be a lesson to you guys even though it's just fun those flu flus I just shot over those squirrels heads by like a half an inch I know why because my computer was programmed to the other arrows look My flu flu arrows are 340s. I've been shooting 300s. They're a little heavier. I hold where my brain wants me to hold because that's how you do it. So that's why I shot high. That's the only logical explanation. Left and right was perfect. All three squirrels. Old Gomer shot a half an inch or an inch right over their old noggin. And they get to live. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna still use these, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make me some three hundreds up and flu flus. That way I'm dead on the money when I'm shooting at squirrels up in the trees. That's what happens when you get tuned in, you shoot like this, shoot bare bow. Your sight is your brain. There's your, there's your sight pins right there. Oh. You guys like that Oneida, don't you? Don't forget about that. I use all my arrows, but when you're hunting serious, make sure you have all the same arrows. Thump her out. My son Axel, the future bare bow master training in the snow.